Warhammer The Horus Heresy Legion Imperialis is a game of vast tabletop battles, allowing you to field more units and recreate the massive conflicts of the Imperial Civil War on the tabletop. Declare your loyalty to the Emperor or the Warmaster and fight for the fate of the war-torn Imperium and the galaxy itself. Greetings, Play On fans, and welcome to this very special episode of Legion Imperialis. Tack and Nick square off today, Blood Angels vs. Death Guard, in a match for the ages as we play Legion Imperialis on the channel for the first time. When they release those sculpts and the amount of detail that they're able to pack into something this small, it looks absolutely fantastic. And now we actually get to play an actual battle. More so than a skirmish. This is a war. Sometimes 40K can feel a little bit like a small little section of the battlefield. This is a war in its earnest. I will destroy this city, the Death Guard of Kam. <laughs> Legion Imperialis is a game of alternate activations. So after orders are laid, players will roll for initiative and then take turns activating units. Each of the player's armies are divided into formations and detachments. A formation is your entire army and a detachment is each of the units inside of it. A miniature is a single base. What I'm looking forward to is it's got a lot of neat rules from across time. So there's rules from 5th edition, there's seemingly rules from 7th edition, there are rules from Armageddon. Nick's Death Guard Legion Demi Company consists of a Legion Command, a Legion Reiner Detachment, two core detachments with four Tactical Legionnaires, two Missile Launchers in one, and four Tactical Legionnaires, two Plasma, two Terminator, two Assault Marines in another, a Legion Dreadnought Talon of six Contemptor Dreads, three Predators in a squadron, and two Sakarans in a squadron in a battle tank detachment. His heavy armor detachment is two Kratos tanks, and he's got a Solar Auxilia sub-cohort, a Legate Commander, and an Ogryn squad. His core units are an Auxilia Laz Rifle Tertio with four auxiliaries and two flamers, and a second exactly the same. He's also got a Vanguard squad of Aethon Heavy Sentinel Patrols, which is four Sentinels. He's got a secondary sub-cohort, the Auxilia Tactical Man Detachment, which has six Velatari, he's got more Last Rifle Tertios and Flamers, and just Last Rifle Tertios, then a Lehman Russ with Tank Commander, a Malkador Battle Squadron tank, and an Auxilia Super Heavy Tag Squadron again. He also has two Warhound Titans. I'm just tremendously excited to use all these tanks, to be able to roll forward with squadrons of Lehman Russes and multiple Bane Blades. It's just, it just feels awesome. The primary formation is Blood Angel, so my hope is to run up the board, get in Nick's face, and smash him with chainswords. Tax Blood Angels consists of a Legion Command and Rhino Detachment. Similarly, four Tactical Legionnaires, two Plasma, two Terminator, two Assault Marines, and four Tactical Legionnaire, two Missile Launchers, and another detachment. His Dreadnought Detachment is four Contemptors, two Sakarans, four Kratos and a Heavy Squad. His Solar Auxilia are effectively identical to Nick's, with Las Rifle Tertios times four and two Flamers, and then Las Rifle Tertio times four, two Flamers. Ogren and Velatari, Sentinel Patrol, Control, Auxilia Tactical Command Detachment with more Tertios and Flamers, a Living Ross Battle Tank and some Malkadors, a Super Heavy Tank Squadron, and a Warhound Hunting Pack. Really liking the scale. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it feels like to field essentially like an entire army. Death Guard ignore dangerous terrain and get to pick two pieces of area terrain to make dangerous. The Blood Angels, however, should they win a combat, move an extra three inches and could potentially fight again. Rules important, but more so than anything else, I want to play a game where the setting makes sense, the setting and the immersion is exciting, and like look at that board, I'm, obviously I'm very excited. Today's mission is Stronghold Assault. Four objectives today, two of them are No Man's Land, and the No Man's Land objectives are worth four points at the end of each turn. Opponent's objective is worth nine, your home objective is going to be worth 70 at the end of the game, should it be held and uncontested. I'm going to do what Blood Angels do best, run forward, smash face, get on those objectives, and hopefully hold. This episode is brought to you by Baron of Dice. Baron of Dice is your go-to source for resin dice. That's right, hand-swirled resin and silicon molds provide a heavier, more balanced, and most importantly, bubble-free die that is then precision machined and laser engraved. No imperfections, no balancing issues, no micro-bubble issues, and no mold lines. They offer square corners, round corners, matte finish, six-sided or polyhedral dice sets, and of course, customized dice for your gaming needs. We love Baron of Dice. In fact, you can get our play on gray and orange dice from the Baron. 
Make sure to check out the website in the description below. Now, back to the action. I have to choose two things on the board. I'm actually gonna choose this terrain feature right here. And uh, this building right here is gonna be dangerous terrain if you are moving through it or garrisoning in it. Okay. Now it's time for us to choose some secondaries and I'm gonna choose carnage. Do damage to the opponent's army and get more points. The more damage you do. The second one I'm gonna take is defiant, which means I get points for how much stuff is left in my deployment zone at the end of the game. That's good because I took capture the battlefield which wants me in all the table quarters. So I actually want to be in that mess over there, killing your guys so that you're not scoring. And speaking of killing guys, I've also taken Carnage. Yes, I love that we both took Carnage. <laughs> so much Carnage going around. Now we have to put our orders down and we put them down secretly so no one knows what they are. These are unique things that basically allow the detachment to do something like move faster, shoot first, different things like that. The choices for orders are limited. There are only five, four of which can be given out to your units. One is a special order that may cause units to run off the board and that'd be fallback. Models can choose first fire. Models will shoot first and not move. Advance means models can move up to the movement range and then shoot. March means models may move double their move rate. All infantry detachments, however, move triple their move rate and then they may not shoot. And charging models may move up to double their movement rate and one unit must reach base contact with an enemy to do so. Otherwise, they move just their movement rate. As mentioned, fallback is a special order that may cause units to run off the board, cannot be issued, but can be handed out should you fail morale. This is a nerve wracking part where you have to issue orders before you know what your opponent do is doing and you're stuck with those orders unless you have one of those commanders that can change them. It is time to reveal the orders and then we're gonna roll for initiative. So we are revealing mostly advances, some marches, no fire first on my end. So roll for who has initiative. Uh, so you choose, it's your uh, choice. I'll just see what you do. So I'm gonna I'll let you go first. We're in the movement phase. So everything that has an order that is either advance or march can be activated now and they will get to move. Tack marches his rhinos, no shooting for them, and the units stay inside. Nick chooses advance for his contempt of dread talon. They'll be able to shoot if he's got range. Tack advances his Sakarans. March for Nick's rhinos. The disembarking infantry have the advance order for later. Tack marches his solar auxilia into garrisoning a building mid table. Nick marches his Ogren. So going first in Imperialis isn't as important as a regular game of 40K. For instance, there's a lot more alternative activations. So I choose one detachment to go and do its movement, and then TAC chooses one. We go back and forth in everyone's move. Then we do shooting and firing alternately with detachments. Nick marches the Velotaris. So there's two guys currently holding that objective, which means I have a tactical of 10 on that objective. Seeing that you have all of that over there. TAC's Titan advances. Did you destroy the playground, TAC? No. he. You did! He it. gingerly you walked took it, through. Take it off, you destroyed it! Next, super heavy tanks. So I'm gonna get to move seven inches with them. They also need to move to get out of the way of this Titan. Tax Ogren march. Nyx, Lehman Russ's advance. Looks like I got a couple on those Ogren, maybe? Tax super heavies advance. With their Hellhammers? And uh, you moved into range. I baited the Bane Blades forward. That's your command tank, though. It is my command tank. Nyx, Titan advances. Boom! Aww. Are you done kicking trees? For now. Tax Legate Commander Detachment marches to try and hide from those Lehman Russes. Those rhinos carry so many infantry and they are the biggest threat to holding that left side objective. I wanna make sure I kill those rhinos. Predators, dive up the board. This squad of heavy tanks is massive. This unit is going to go garrison this building back here. That Blood Angel squadron moves up partially garrisoning and stretching forward with the assault squad. Next Kratos heavy squadron also advances. All right. Sentinels. Nick uses Master Tactician to swap an order from advance to march, and then marches the same squad which are garrisoned a building near another objective. Tack advances his other Titan forward. Nick also advances his Titan. Mine just went straight forward. Yours uh, dance forward. I move right through these because they're obstacles. I'm gonna take this infantry squad and they're gonna come within three inches. Fortunately, they're gonna be out in the open. Tax Russ's advance. Nick's Malkador advances. Tax Malkador's advance. Nick's Sentinels advance. Tax other Solar Auxilia squad move to secure his home objective. Nick's Sakarans advance forward. The unit that got out of the Rhinos can still move. My thought is if I move up here, they're just gonna garrison this building. 
Start of the combat phase, there's no first fire orders given, and nobody is engagement, so we go on to the advance orders, and that's where we start the shooting phase. I have initiative, so I would fire first. Super heavy's first. Tailhammer, its last cannons, going to the Lehman Russes, heavy bolters, at the guys inside the building. All right, hit none. Yes. Zero. Nada. And then we'll go with the Hellhammers. I got one. So there's no to wound roll, you just go straight to the save roll, which for my guys is a two up. Any minus on that? Uh, it is a minus three. <laughs> that is a one. <laughs> the Bane Blades have killed the Lehman Russ and the heavy bolters into the squad in the building with another kill. I'm gonna go with these Lehman Russes right next. Two tanks into your Ogren over there. Four. Nick's Lehman Russes have killed two Ogrens. Attack activating his Kratos into Nick's Kratos and point defense in the garrison unit mid table. That's two dead infantry squads. So this is a Kratos last cannons. So I save them both. His tanks have only managed to kill one of Nick's Kratos, but that is still big. Nick's got minimal targets with his Bane Blades, but his point defense takes down a squad of guardsmen. All the rest of their guns are in range. The Demolisher cannons are unfortunately not in range. One dice each, hitting on fours. I hit them both. Oh no. At minus three. I make one. So you take down one of two Void Shields, I believe. Laz cannons. I hit once. So I've got to make a three up, which I don't. So you've knocked out my Void Shield. Blood Angel's Dreadnought Talon into Nick's Death Guard Contemptors. One dead Dread. I'm going with these Space Marines next because I'm worried about them dying before they do their job of killing these guys off your objectives. Right now we're tied. The Plasma take down one and the Bolters kill another. You killed the unit, that is the first major casualty. I got a little greedy trying to get that objective and I just went and got those Marines killed. So then what you've done here is you forced my hand to fire everything from my Sikarans into your infantry right down there. Tax tried to sweep Nick's unit off of that objective with his right flank. He kills some, but not enough to force a fallback check. My turn now, and I'm gonna go with this Titan, I think. Targeting Tax unit in the building only kills one squad. Tax targeting Nick's purple Titan with his Lehman Russes, and now with his Armor Bane Vanquishers. Hey, why doesn't Nick have Armor Bane Vanquishers? No, it goes through. He takes one damage of four. Three wounds remaining, and no void shields. My Titan is gonna go now, and all of its guns are short range, and I'm gonna target the structure. Because it's a beam weapon, it goes right over top. It's gonna target my unit, your unit, and the structure. In true Nick faction, he's killed two of his own squads with his Titan. Let's do the last cannons. Tack fires his Malkadors into the wounded Titan, strips another wound. Down to two wounds remaining. Please hit. I hit once, so you're not gonna die. All right, on a two up, on a four up. Four up. I saved it, but armor bane means I have to reroll it. I got it. I I've got a Malkador right here as well. Vanquisher Battle Cannons hitting twice. I hit once. Thing down a four. Uh, it, fail it fails. I've done one damage to your Titan. So he's got three wounds remaining. We're going to go with the heavy Sentinels. Sentinels firing into Nick's infantry. I've saved two of them, but two go through and you've killed these two guys. He's just going to fire his uh, missile launcher. Fails. You killed another one. Forces a morale check and they succeed. Nick's Predators in attacks Rhinos. He kills three and one unit has died on Disembark. So maybe that was a bit of a misplay with the rhinos being that far forward. I should have tried to maybe hide them a little bit better. Titan time. Titan time. Tax Titan targets a garrison unit in the large building again. No joy. That center of the field is going to be so close. Garrisoning buildings is super powerful for infantry. It really makes them very survivable. I'm going to go with the Kratos over here. Kratos on Kratos action, now from Nick, manages a wound. And then lastly, these Dreadnoughts are gonna fire their last cannon and straight over there Kay. into your Dreadnoughts. Boom, I hit ya. Kill one of those Dreadnoughts. Maybe. Ah, I got him. We finished the turn! We did. High five. End phase turn one. Nick's got one objective for four, other objective is contested, and both players have stickied their home objectives. Turn two should be bloody though, as they've definitely closed the gap, and I expect some charges. I got lucky with my secondaries. All I need to do is kill things to score. And so let the destruction begin. All right, round two. We do have some void shields to see if we regenerate. On four ups, I get them back. All right, do you get any back? No, double ones. I have two to try to regenerate here and I get one of them. No, oh, I don't like that. Round two orders phase. Let's let Tack and Nick explain the orders here, folks, and see who gets initiative. On this Lehman Rust squad here, I have given advance. On my Titan, advance. And the Sentinels, advance. All the Marines, charge order. And then this unit of infantry right here, the advance order. My Ogren back here are going to charge. My empty Rhinos are gonna march. 
My Bane Blades are gonna first fire. My Titan is going to advance. My Malkadors are gonna first fire. Sakarans are going to advance. My Kratos is going to advance. My Predators are actually gonna march. The Dreadnoughts are all going to advance. These infantry right here are all gonna charge. And then lastly, the guys in the building are advancing. Okay, advance on my Rhinos. They are going to advance. The Dreadnoughts are going to advance. I have first fire. The Sakarans are gonna advance. This Titan is going to advance. The orange Titan is going to advance. Advance with the Sentinels. You've got three infantry squads here. Yep, I've got first fire with uh, that first rank there. I do have charge with the- Ogrins. Ogrins. Uh, I've got advance with the lead tanks. Advance with the Malkadors. And then I have first fire with my Lehman Russes, actually. My Terminators off the board are gonna be ordered to charge. Initiative! And I'm actually gonna start with this unit of Marines, and they're gonna charge. In addition, they have an attached unit of Terminators that are gonna deep strike right beside them. Scatter! Uh, three inches that way, which will still allow me to charge in. And then this whole squad is all gonna charge you, all the Marines! Ha ha ha! They're gonna charge everything they can find. So I'm gonna start the moving out like this. So I'm gonna fire Overwatch, so I'm also gonna fire from the six-man squad. Not a single six. Excellent. Look at all the charges and counter charges. What a mess. And because we are the same size, we're not only engaged, we're engaged and pinned, which means neither of us can shoot out of that combat, nor can people shoot into that combat. I've got to charge out of that building. I'm gonna counter charge with my Ogren. I did not see them there. Dreadnoughts are just gonna walk up. These rhinos yeah. have moved all the way down here. My rhino, they're dropping off their precious cargo within two inches. Then the rhino's gonna move. My Lehman Russes are gonna move up. Mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna do the same risky play. Deep striking. Don't land on a terrain feature. Here you go. Does it scatter? Uh, they have advance. All right, excellent, excellent. Nick Sakarin's advance forward. I'm just gonna crush those barricades as I walk over there. Try to reduce the amount of shots coming at me. This is just gonna follow that way, which gets me over there. I'm going to move the Kratos. Boop, boop, boop. All of my dreadnoughts are gonna move this way. Mm -hmm. Same thing, I've got a seven inch move here. Nick Sentinel's advance. I will just move this squad. So they have a movement of nine to get me there. So this unit in the building has advance. I'm actually gonna move them up out of the building. It's a big unit of infantry. Tac chooses advance. Nick's master tactician is changing the Baneblade squads fire first to advance. Now they'll be able to move and shoot. That is sneaky sneaky. I wanna just make sure that I don't get melted. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with these predators now. These predators drive through here and they make it all the way to here. The heavy sentinels move seven. So I'm gonna just move them here. So I'm gonna activate these Bane blades, and they're gonna go all the way to here. The more important thing is my Melkadors can now see your Lehman Russes. So I've got one more here, seven. I'm actually gonna go here. All my Axemen have charged in. It gets them on the objective, and hopefully they don't die. These guys are just gonna stay in the building. They're safe there. Shall we shoot some things? So I guess. Excellent. Combat phase, we go to fire first orders first. Nick's Malkador firing and attacks Lehman Russ, and he picks one of them up. Nice. Everything from over here is gonna fire into the Lehman Russes, which I have line of sight on all of them. 100 percent Tap fires back. Nick's left with just one Lehman Russ. The heavy bolters are gonna go into the Marines in the capital there. And last cannons and battle cannons are gonna go into the predators. Oh, tax Kratos have deleted all but one predator. Morale test for the Predators. I'm good. My big giant unit of tactical Marines and Terminators and Assault Marines and everything else is going to fight now. Close combat is very different in Imperialis compared to say 40K. There's no back and forth doing damage. Bases are paired off where they can be model by model and both players roll two dice. You add your combat stat to the rolled number and the highest total wins the fight. Some units, such as Ogrens, get extra dice on that roll, making them potentially very lethal. And so jump back against one infantry. Engagement phase now and boy howdy is Tack ever getting pounded. That guy's dead too. Two dice. You could be that, you could be that. 
Nope. Oh. Four again. Lose another one. Then one on one here. Ooh. Okay, so they're dead. Because <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Ogren versus Terminators. Okay. I'll eventually roll high, right? Nope. Ogrens are dead. <laughs> now I've got regular Marines against your Ogren. That is big, but he is fighting back. Oh, oh you win! Sure. So you killed one of the unit of Legion Marines, but you have to fight the other one, and now I get three dice. Three dice now. Oh, you're not beating that. So yeah, they just died. So one more tactical Marine against another unit of auxiliary, and I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the charge. No, no, another unit dead. I mean, it's a pair. You have to take some morale tests. So I do. this unit back here has to take morale tests right now. So he's okay. So you lost the fight, which means you have to take a morale check for everybody in it, aside from the guys that already did. Oh You're good. Otherwise, they would have withdrawn, which would have sucked. All right, so now we move on to this combat right here. It looks like they're paired, paired, double paired, double paired, and paired. The exact same value, but you get plus one. And I got a six, seven. And I get plus one to this roll, which is a uh, eight. Hey, just one more and you killed him. Ah! Legate Commander. He has a CF of three. No problem. Nope. Nope, you die. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Ogren against your infantry right there. And I have Rend and I charged. 12. Nope. And then the next one, I'm gonna go with Ogren again. They have Rend, so they got an extra dice. Oh. This one's dead. And then lastly, one Ogren against one guy. So we're gonna do the one on one first. So I got three dice with Rend. So I killed the one tank. Okay, and then the next unit with Rend, you need to tie it on a 12. Nope, so you got killed both tanks. However, that does mean that my entire unit is there out in the open. They're the only unit holding that objective. Advancing fire stage. Right. This Titan is yeah. gonna be stupid and he's gonna fire at this unit back here with both of his weapons. The beam weapon's gonna fire through. It's gonna hit your guy, my guy, your unit, and my and your unit For again. the beam weapon. For the beam yeah. weapon. And then the shock lance is also gonna fire at this unit beside the building holding yep. objective. This is classic Nick. This is caution to the wind. He's going for it, and he might kill his own guys in this beam. The shock lance is gonna fire this one guy okay. that survived. The shock lance gets one dice, hitting on twos. The purple titan has picked up some guardsmen. That's kind of big, but all those space marines are in the wide open. And it hit once. Okay. The marine tries to save his life, and he can't. This is minus two. I have to take more damage on guys I can see. So that means I have to see if another hit comes through. And it does. So I kill another guy. <laughs> That's done for that. So now it hits this unit of three. Yep. On fours. I hit twice. Uh oh. Kills two of them. And then it generates two more hits because of deflagrate, which generates one more hit. On a six. Six he, he lives. Survives. Oh. Nope. And then on the, the two guys with the beam weapon and kills him. Yep, and then does, you, does you it do it again? Him? It does it again, so it kills okay. both of them. Okay. So it might have killed two of my guys, but it did just clear off that entire squad. Yeah. Malkadors are gonna target into that because they can't see the beam blades. So first we'll go with the beam blade cannons. Fours. I say one of them. If I fail this, he dies. No, he dies! The Titan's down! Ooh, the Titan explodes. Four ups to every model within three inches are gonna take a wound. Jeez, that's a dead sentinel and auger and as well as some more guardsmen. All right, so that is the mouth guards. Before these guys get damaged, I'm gonna go with my Sakarans. I'm gonna fire everything into these infantry over here. Okay. Two Omega plasma arrays. Two shots, hitting on fours, but accurate. They both hit. Ooh, Nick Sakarans have killed a couple squads. Sponson mounted ones, no more hits, because it hits on fives. They're they're all gonna shoot the infantry. before your dreadnoughts finish off any more of them. Uh, we'll do the Legion combi bolter from the commander first. Okay. Five, it has accurate. Uh, so I'm gonna try again. And hopefully, nope. And then I've got four just regular uh, tacticals. Yep. And you're on fives. Nothing, oh, not yeah. a single one. And then plasma guns hitting on fours this time. We've got two of them. Okay. Uh, one. Kills a model. I'm actually gonna go with this Titan, actually. Yellow Titan now in attack Sentinel takes out two. And you also force a uh, morale. Morale check. If these fail, they can run off the table. Oh, They're fine. Yep. So I've got bolters from the Rhinos. Tear down one uh, Dreadnought. Uh, nope. So I'm gonna fire all of the Blaine Blades weapons into this Titan. Maybe I can do the same thing you did and blow up yours. The Bane Blade Cannon wants to start it off. Mm -hmm. Bane Blades try to take down a Titan. Nope. Can auto Cannon and two last counts. Can hit. 
I can. So you've killed one of them. Okay. And then my last cannons hit on fours. Two. Hit on fives. My six up. No, you've killed one more. This will force a morale check. Four up and they run away. Oh, the Auxilia Veltari have fallen back. This means the detachment's order will get replaced with a fallback token. It won't be able to activate further this turn. Plus, at the end of the round, it will be making a full move towards its own board edge, potentially running off the battlefield. My dreadnoughts are gonna fire their last cannons in that infantry. That's really all they can do. Last cannon shots. I passed two. So I will go with my sentinels because I want to see if I can do anything to that squad there. So these are the... Uh, missile launchers. Missile launchers. With the light profile, two dice each. Sentinels targeting the Death Guard Marines and they kill four squads. My sentinels are going to try to kill Baneblade. Nick sentinels and attacks Baneblade's no joy. Now that I know there's only five units left, I think oh, my Baneblades are just going to yeah. go all in. Hellhammer cannons into the remaining Death Guard. Squad down even with the Medicaid. Woo! -hoo. Battle cannon Lehman Ross, and I'm gonna fire his battle cannon into those sentinels to see if I can't take out another one. Next, lonely Lehman Ross shoots tax sentinels, and another one goes down. I'm going to take the claw, and I'm gonna try to absolutely murder a rhino. Not to lance into Bane Blade. Let's see if I can hit him on a four. I do. All right, it's the claw. Orange Titan time, and now a dead Bane Blade. Oh yes, that is a morale check for the Lehman Ross. And he's failed morale. So two shots with the missiles. Uh, I save it. Right. And then the melted lance. Yep, hits on a four. That's it. The Sakarans fail morale as well and run off the board. Ah! We're going to go into the end step. The Bane Blade has rallied and the axe wielding guardsman is still falling back. Oh, folks, we got a real barn burner here. It's going to come down to secondaries, I think. If TAC doesn't close within 12 inches of Nick's deployment zone, Nick gets to score 15 points at game end. However, TAC just needs to keep killing, and if he kills 80% of Nick's points, he gets 15 points. But at the end of round two, we've got a tie game 4-4. Four to four. Round three orders phase. Take it away, boys. March. March, okay. We've got to advance. What else you got? A advance here. Advance? I've got to advance there. I have uh, advance here. March. That is fascinating. Because that means they can't shoot. Yeah, this one's going to be advance. Yeah. yeah, I figured. Advance, 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 advance. I have advance for my Bane Blade. I got advance for my Sentinels. I've also got advance for a one battle guy. This one, the one uh, Legate Commander is advance. The, bo the Ogrens are charging. Malkador is advancing. My infantry in the building here, which is still a large squad, is marching. Big unit over here of infantry is also marching. The Kratos is advancing. They are first fire. Hmm. The Dreadnoughts are advancing. The Rhinos are marching. Predator is advancing. And then lastly, fire first. This initiative is really big. It could determine quickly who has what left. Double ones, but TAC gets the initiative. In Imperialis, if you tie, priority goes to the player who did not have initiative last turn. All right, so I elect the first unit to move. Lots of back and forth still in the movement phase. It's still possible to lose this game with bad positioning for both players. So this is gonna be a real back and forth. It's so freaking fast. So this huge detachment yep. is actually going to march into and garrison this building. The gas station? Over here and over here. I absolutely love it. It's a brilliant tactical <laughs> move. I should have moved to them first. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, then you're fine. Cool. I'm going to advance with my Sentinel. All he wants to do is Go there so he can see the front of the rhino, but be out of range of but your sentinels. I'm gonna go with my dreadnoughts. And they're gonna move up to here. <laughs> they're gonna go up to here. So then I'm gonna move there. I can see him with the Kratos. Yes. I'm gonna move these Malkadors. Mm -hmm. I still have a uh, fire in lane. Legate, my yeah. commander of my auxiliary. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna use his master tactician ability to change his first fire to an advance. Okay. Because that is useless right now. I've gotta move him, so I'm gonna tuck him underneath this building. Okay. So no one can see him, but he's within three inches of the objective marker. You would. Oh yeah, I've got a predator there. Oh, you're blocking him off. Yep. <laughs> I forgot all about him. 
<laughs> These were Axemen. I should have uh, done Oh, you should have charged with them. Yeah. I also forgot they were the Predator <laughs> over there. I'm going to move my battle tank over to here, mm -hmm. holding the objective, mm -hmm. and also have a nice line of sight on your Sentinel from downtown. So this Lee tank, I'm gonna go here with them. So get on that objective later. The Predator's gonna move. He's gonna go back up like this. And I don't want those, he's gonna get shots over here and not get show his butt over there. Missile launcher, looking at your big fat rear. Big unit right here. And they're gonna go garrison this building. So my Malkadors move a whopping nine. Pivot, move, and then like that. So that would have been the end of my move. And with that movement, I'm gonna move the Bane Blade. So they're just going to be a bean and your point. Nick charges tax Kratos squad and Tack decides to overwatch and picks up the squad charging him. Wow, that was amazing. The advance with my Titan and he's gonna move up to here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna charge into the building. Two of them get in base contact, which means they've garrisoned this building, which means they count as being here. And they just got a whole bunch of extra movement for next turn. So I can overwatch them and kill them next turn? If you want to. Yes, yes. I guess you could do that, fine. But let's shoot. You get to choose first. I do get to choose first. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Hero moment, we're gonna take the Melted Lance and we are gonna fire into this building to try to take out a Bulgren. Yeah. But the claw. that little claw <laughs> bypasses your void shield. I know, it's so rough. But I need to hit. Yeah, you need to hit a right? four. Uh, Melted Lance, five. Yep, that's a five. Or however, I still get my cover save, which I pass. Nice. Now here's a big one, so I need that again. And the Titan Ursus Claw hits the Titan, and Nick rolls a one. Oh no! Oh, he got the one. Oh no! He got the one. If Tack rolls a six, he'll pick the Titan up. No, he's rolled a one. What the heck? Another one. <laughs> So that's no wounds. I'm gonna go with these Dreadnoughts. The Dreadnoughts are gonna fire everything into this unit right here. So, in bolt, twin link bolters. Dreadnoughts into the big tactical squad. They could definitely absorb the hits. So you kill three, they kill the Terminator as well. I guess I'm shooting at Rhinos. Sentinel fails to damage the Rhinos at all. The Predator, and because you've already fired those, the Predator's actually gonna fire into the Dreadnoughts. It can see all three. Predator last can has one dice hitting on a four. Next Predator has killed a Dreadnought. So you've got one last cannon there. Ooh, tax dreads kill two rhinos and make morale. Let's see if these guys are running away. Nope. They're fine. They these are, are brave rhinos. Super brave rhinos. My Bane Blade here is going to fire everything into these Lehman Russes. Bane Blade cannon hitting on a four. That's a hit. I got a 12. I, got <laughs> I killed one. You killed one. You forced my hand here. Lehman Russ on Russ action, and down goes Nick's last Lehman Russ. Now I have nothing that can kill that Sentinel back there. Let's go with the main event here. The Titan is gonna fire everything into your Titan. I need to down it, I need to kill it. It's going away. Melt a lance, I hit on a three at this range. That's a hit. Yep. Oh, down goes Tag Titan, and it takes out a Rhino. One Rhino left, smoldering <laughs> crater where my Titan is. Hey, those poor be. Rhinos. So your main target is this. All right, so the last kind on a four up. I hit. Void shields and a wound stripped off Nick's last Titan. My turn, but this goes away. I don't want you shooting me again. My Malkador is gonna fire everything into the Titans. Nick's Malkador strips the void shields off Tax last Titan. I'm gonna go with this Kratos and it's gonna fire everything at this Titan. The Kratos opening up on Tax Titan down to two wounds. Two Bane Blade cannons hitting on threes into that building. Oh, Tack almost takes down a building and if he did, he would have killed that whole detachment. Eight more dice for your Bane Blade Heavy Bolt responses. Into the guys inside. Four up save. Save one. You've killed one! So, 10 inches. Woo, he's running fast. All right. My Axemen actually failed because they have minus one to the morale test because their formation is broken. So, he continues to fall back. And void shields. I'm gonna try to regenerate two void shields. Please don't. Going, two void shields! Oh, wow, nice thing. Can you regenerate for two void shields? I hope so. No! no void shields! No! Let's no! Take it down, that Titan. It's no! going down! This is a tight one, folks. Score is tied. Both players are at eight primary, and Nick's army is on the verge of completely breaking. His marine formation, as well as his Bane Blade, are only able to advance or charge. Similarly, Tax Titan is also broken. However, Titans don't fail morale. Left to right for me, an advance order, 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 charge for the Ogren. Uh, advance, march, still fall back, 
advance charge. The predator is advancer. You've got an advance on your rhinos over here. Mm -hmm. What else you got? I've got uh, advance on that unit there. Advance on these marines here. I've got advance on the dreadnoughts. I've got charge with the uh, infantry. The Kratos have an advance. My Titan over here has an advance because it's only one of two that I can give it. Malkadors have an advance. The Russ have an advance. And I'm going to try to take out that building, so I fire first. Ah, initiative. Initiative phase, tack to move first. This is big. He can really dictate and affect what Nick is able to charge and fight. So I'm going to charge right into those infantry. Yeah. So then the Kratos are going to pivot, pivot. So you can no longer charge those tanks. I'm going to march this infantry and garrison the building and take the objective away. Oh. <laughs> right, then I will just do my charge move and they're just going to uh, go all the way around. Charge the tank. Charge the tank. Love it. As you charge in there, that unit is going to overwatch. Predator overwatches does nothing, oh no. Misses. We'll go hunting some, uh, some rhinos there. Pop the tank. Pop the tank. I'm gonna do that. And you're still in my front face. These infantry are all gonna run, advance into this building. <laughs> Cause what? Because this has two wounds. <laughs> my Malkadors are gonna advance, and they're just going to, because there's no engagement range on that building, right? It's a really interesting board state here. This is a pivotal turn. Nick has got to clear the units in his deployment zone, and Tack just needs to keep on killing. I will rotate the rhinos. I'm gonna actually move them all right here on the open. So what I'm trying to do here is simply three of that objective while staying away from your charge. Yep. So currently I have two dreadnoughts and all of my marines on that base. I'm gonna move these guys. They can't charge, but they're gonna move just five inches and they're gonna go right here and hide behind the building. Okay, my dreadnoughts are not gonna... Got one rhino to move. Fire first, you got any? I do, I have two. We will go with the Sentinel, and you know what he's gonna try to do. He's gonna try to kill the Rhino, he's Gonna right? try to kill the Rhino. Yeah. Yep. Two shots with the multi-laser, it's light AT. Both. Nice. Both. One or two kills them. Got it. They have first fire as well. Yeah. So they're gonna just go for the building. Same thing, two demolisher shots. Hitting on threes because, yep, that's both. Oh, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I saved the first one. Yep. The second one, saves it again. That building's impenetrable. And then just the uh, point of fence that's going inside of it at the infantry. I like this two. No minus, so I get a defense of four up. Save one, you've killed one guy. Turret. Pole mounted, heavy bolt of turret. Uh, two. I have three guys left in that building. That actually is enough to cause them to take a morale test on a two. Two combats. You have initiative, which one would you like to do first? All right, so your tank, uh, do, I think those guys have rend, right? So I got a, f <laughs> I got a five. The tank is gone. All right, so now we do the dreadnoughts. It's a line of dreadnoughts versus a line of Marines. Oh, those dreads have done some serious work. Those Marines are gonna fall back. Ooh, that felt good. Just running into a bunch of dreadnoughts and punching people. I'm shooting, yeah, so I go first. We'll go with the Titan first. So let's hit with the missiles first. The Titan fails to kill the Malkador. Wow. One wound on the lead Malkador. Let's do these Sentinels because that's going to be kind of important. They're going to fire all their missiles into that lone Sentinel way in the back. Nick's Sentinels have missed hard and attacks lone Sentinel. I'm going to go with all of these tanks. All right, so Kratos Battle Cannon. You have two of those, so four dice hitting on fours. Voice Void shields are popped. Eight coaxial cannons. Two ones and he's dead. Nick's Titan lives. All right, well, this Titan's safe now. There's nothing else to shoot at it. I'm gonna fire everything into the, bane, uh, the Sentinel. I, the only thing you can see it is the Bane Blade Cannon. Yep. One shot with the Bane Blade Cannon Go on a four. Tax Sentinel has just survived a Bane Blade. Give that guy a promotion. My last cannons, while they were over there to try to maybe knock out those Ogrens, I would love to knock out that Kratos instead. Both miss again. Oh, the last dreads from Tack take a wound off next Kratos and kill an Ogren. The Titan is gonna split his fire. His uh, missile launcher is gonna fire into this infantry right here. His uh, uh, Melta Lance is gonna fire into the Kratos. Sure. The Melta Lance hitting on a four. It's accurate though, so I get to reroll. Try again. Eight dice from the Swarmer missiles. And he sixes. Oh, that Titan is straight up murdering Marines. I'm gonna go with the Malkadors next, and they're gonna fire everything into... My poor, poor, poor Titan. Titan, they're gonna yeah. kill it. Two Vanquisher cannons. Yeah, here we go. Hitting on fours, accurate. 
Hits one. Accurate. Hits twice. So I go to a four up. That's so many You're down to one wound! Ugh. And then the Demolisher Cannons. Two four-ups from the Demolisher Cannons. Hit them neither. Tax Titan has lived on a single wound. Wow! Leaving Russ's here are going to just fire into your Beyblade. Russ's into the Bane Blade. No death. Minus one of morale for the formation being broken. And he fails. All right, so I've got one last unit to fire. And that is this Kratos. And it's going to fire everything into these two Dreadnoughts. Yes. Coaxial, auto cannon, two shots, hitting on fives. One Kratos Laz Cannon. Five up. Which I don't make. Which means you have to take a morale test for them. I do. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> oh no. What did I do? I don't know. Why are my dice doing this? Fallback moves. And then I have, hopefully, give me something. I got one back. Okay, with your one wound. Yep. One void shield and one wound. This dreadnought has to fall back. Yep. My infantry here run off the board. So finally my- Oh, they run off the board. Little axe guys run off the board. <laughs> And then they, you gotta uh, fall back with that. See if the Dreadnought is still falling back. Oh, yep. it's still falling back. Does my Bane Blade want to keep going? Wow. Running away! Wow, Tack is suddenly on the ropes here. Nick has scored 16 points to his eight. It looks like Tack may only have a couple options open to him. However, he's killed so many points in Nick's army, he may be scoring 15 points on his secondary anyway. Orders phase, here we go. Advance, advance. Advance, I need options. Uh, advance, I've got a charge here. That's advance. An advance on the Titan. I've got advance across the board, except for a charge here. These guys are advancing. Uh, advancing, I, I, everything can only advance, so. Right. That's all I got. Now that the orders are revealed, we go into who goes first. <laughs> Initiative! That's gonna be a one, two. You get to go first again! On a two. On a two. How many force Nick's hand here? Tax moving units that are deep in his own zone first. I will do the rhino. It'll do a donut. Whee! I'm gonna spin twice. And move straight up, I guess. So they would go 10. There's a couple of multi-chargers here. Both players looking to score and kill as much as they can. The infantry are gonna overwatch from the building here. Okay. Two flamer groups in there, hitting on fours. Sorry, it's overwatch, so it only hits on sixes. Yep. And then four last rivals, also hitting on sixes. Nothing. I'm gonna charge the Ogren into these guys, okay. into the into the infantry there. Okay, that is an axe guy that you charge. The Leon Russ is oh, four inches backwards. Oh yeah, good shot on the Titan there. Yep, into its behind. I'm gonna go next with my Legate Commander. And he is gonna use Master Tactician to give this unit the Sentinels, fire first. Okay. And then he is going to and run across the building and garrison it. Okay. The crater's another way. That's okay, I'm just gonna move him there. They can move eight. The Dreadnoughts will just move around the corner here. So I'm gonna do something cheeky. Um, and one will move here and one will be here. So you're gonna only kill one. Nick's got no way to stop Tack from denying him five of his secondary. So the Kratos will move over here. Get a clean line of sight on the Titan. Lastly, my Malkadors will move and target the Titan. Okay. First fire, I got one first fire. Sentinels fire first into the Lehman Russes. The multi-lasers might get lucky. Kill yeah, the squad. I, I definitely could, it's possible. Oh, it's so close. Morale check. Oh, shoot. Yes, fail morale check, please. So he fails. The Titan might live. <laughs> All right, then we go to combat. We have one big combat right here. One axe is going into the Augrens, two axes are going into the building, and two regular guys are going into the building. Let's just do the Augren one first. Let's do it! Oh, that combat's a draw. That's huge. They're engaged and pinned. This is the worst outcome for me because now they're all stuck in combat, which means I can't shoot into that combat, which means these guys are all alive and I can't shoot at them with my Titan and my Dreadnoughts. Shooting phase. Shooting phase. Uh, you start. I start. The Titan's not really scoring me anything back there. No. So I'm just going to go here. Yeah. Am I as accurate as Nick? I hit once. Oh, the Rhino has gone down. That clears tax home objective. I'm going to fire with my Titan. I'm gonna fire into your Kratos. Melt a cannon. Takes one down and he scores five hits on fives. Yeet. Oh 
Hey, Liv! Then I will just go with my Titan. Yeah, into the Malkador. Sure. You kill me. Shutter missile. Two shots. Hitting on fours. The Malkador gets popped for Melta. Oh boy. Yeah, so there's a morale check on a broken unit. It fails! Yes. Oh, you might have saved your Titan's life. Fall back. That means it can no longer shoot. Kratos is going to try to kill the Titan. Coaxial auto cannon. Two shots. Hitting on fives. One hit. Takes down the void shield. Then the Kratos Laz cannon on a four. The Kratos has killed Tax Titan. Kaboom! -ba boom! That might cost me these two running away. That's all I can do. This only has one target, which is the Titan. Kill it. Tack needs to down next Titan. It's 400 points and represents a ton of points for Carnage, his secondary. All right, it's got the whole mounted auto cannons. They're accurate. Let's reroll. Come on, you can do this dice. One. Give me a two. That's a save. Yep. And the coaxial cannon. Then we're moving on to the guys that are in the rear arc. So yeah. you have another melt -a blast gun. One shot on a four. Please. Yep. So it goes right through, takes one damage out. I'm down to one wound remaining. Do the battle cannon next. Sure. Yep. That's a hit with armor bane and anti-tank. It's minus five. It does the last damage. I can't do a thing about it. Does it blow up? Of course it does, but there's nothing in range. And it is dead. Bane blades, what do they want to shoot at? You know what? I want to blow up this guy. Yep, do it. It's a good choice. One. One hit. All right, it is minus three. I need an eight. I did not get it. You have done one damage to the building and blown it up. It collapses and every unit inside takes a wound at minus one. I do have an invuln save. Yep. I don't make it. I do have a uh, feel no pain. I don't make it. The commander is dead. The building collapses. It takes off the board. That's the end of the game. Yep. What an absolute slam bang, knockdown, drag out fight. Nick scores 10 on secondary. Tack scores 15. Tack has 19 on primary. Nick's got 27. 34 37 in favor of this episode's winner of our inaugural Legion Imperialis game, Nick and his Death Guard. What a fun, fantastic game. What an incredibly strategic game. I love the concept of fielding massive armies on a tabletop and replaying huge battles from a purely strategic level. Getting to replay the grand battles of the 31st millennium is just a ton of fun. And I'm really excited to see if they expand this into other armies like the original Epic did. Holding my breath and crossing my fingers, I can't wait to see what comes next. Games Workshop, we think you've got a winner. Legion Imperialis is a ton of fun to play, and we hope that you enjoyed watching. Also, a big thank you to this episode's sponsor, Baron of Dice. Make sure to check out their website at the link below for everything you could possibly want in Hand Swirled Resin Dice. Thank you, Tack and Nick, for an absolutely fantastic game, and thank you very much for watching, and if you like what we've done here, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases, as well as behind-the-scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. That's it for all of us here at Play On Studios. On behalf of all of us, it's me, JT, the voice of Play On, saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, Play On!